SSCPs, or short-lived climate pollutants, are substances which cause global warming. The most common ones are methane, hydrofluorocarbons and soot, substances that are not carbon dioxide. Compared to carbon dioxide, they stay in the atmosphere for a much shorter period of time, but on the other hand they cause a lot more damage while they're there. When it comes to heating, soot is 100 to 2000 times more efficient than carbon dioxide. So let us look a bit closer at soot. Soot, or polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons as it might be called, are particles produced when combustion occurs, for example in cars, or by cremation. Soot consists of carbon and hydrogen atoms without a crystalline structure, therefore they are called amorphous particles. The majority of all soot emissions come from the burning of biofuels, like wood, in a tropical zone. 75% of all soot is produced in China and India, which is also where a lot of the problems caused by soot emissions occur. So, what are these problems? Soot has a lot of ways to present itself. It can heat, cool or dim the atmosphere and the earth. Soot, together with other pollutant gases, form a phenomenon known as brown clouds. Scientists have found five so-called hotspots for brown clouds, of which three are located in Southeast Asia. Some of the clouds have a thickness of up to 3 kilometers, and the reason for why the brown clouds exist is probably, as we stated before, the extensive use of biofuels for cooking. One major component of the brown clouds is black carbon, which is another name for soot. Black carbon has a heating effect, since it, like other greenhouse gases, absorbs sunlight, thus creating warmer weather. This leads to, among other things, heating of the Himalayas. Other components of the brown clouds have a cooling effect, such as the nitrates and sulfates. This effect, which is known as surface dimming, causes less water to evaporate from the oceans. Consequently, the rainfall decreases in the affected areas. The dimming and the decreased rainfall, in combination with the heating caused by black carbon, has led to lower food production throughout Asia. For example, the rice output in some places in India is estimated to be 6.2 million tons lower than it would have been without the brown clouds. 6.2 tons is enough to feed 72 million people. One way of beginning to tackle the problem of brown clouds and SLCPs in general is to work transnationally. This idea has already been put into practice in a way when the Climate and Clean Air Coalition was formed. So far, the CCAC has not had any real influence, but what they need to do now is to create a common vision for everyone living on Earth. Yes, even for the killer whales. This vision needs to be not forced onto but sprung from a genuine will to change the way things are. To create this vision, uh, people first need to be informed about the impacts of SLCPs, and that's what we're doing now. To inform, we naturally also need to think outside the box that, that is formal education. We need to educate people where they're not used to being educated, for example through social media or TV. And once people have enough knowledge, we can decide on which path we want to choose.